Can you achieve balance? I take people that believed in nature and let them build a natural farm. And people that believed in science will live in this city. Uh, all the cities would be saner in design, but there'd be different value systems. And you can check them out, see how it works. If you want to live on organic food, and you have a community of 40,000 people living on organic food, they're all healthier, but mentally they're not. Physically, they're in perfect shape. But mentally, they believe they've made metaphysical temples and all that, you know what I mean? So, um, you might check out different cultures and say, yes, they're all healthy physically, mentally they're aberrated. Do you think you know what I mean? You know, Hitler was a vegetarian, don't you? He, he didn't believe, didn't believe in, the, in eating living things. But uh, his brain was no better than it was. So if a person eats nothing but organic food, never had cancer, never had heart disease, but is fucked up right here, has associative disease, you know what that means? Doesn't like Swedes or Catholics or gays. That's associative disease. So we don't measure all of that stuff. Our language is an attempt at controlling the behavior of people. It isn't a mechanism for controlling behavior. It's an attempt. People write books because they think they can impart their values to other people. The book is only one piece of the action. There are many other things necessary. Conversing with one another, up and back, disagreements, areas where you're a little foggy, not quite clear. So when I tell you that a neurologist doesn't know what the problem is, unless they're social, he has no idea. If he works on the brain as a study, how does the brain work? The brain doesn't work, it responds to different cultures. Do you understand that? Asking a question, how does the brain work, cannot be asked outside of the culture. You can't do that. It's like saying, how do we walk? Well, if you lived on a planet with one-tenth of gravity, the guy says, let's go for a 20-mile walk, you say, okay, because gravity doesn't bother you too much. But if you live on a planet with five times the gravity of the Earth, I said, when I walk a hundred feet, I said, that's too much for me. Do you understand why you respond to the environment? Uh, senators make laws, but they can't change natural law. They can't change the law of gravity in a Congress meeting. So it's easier to go up the steps of the Capitol. They can't change natural law, although to a limited extent, we can affect it. So all of us live within the trap called time and culture. You know what that means? We live within the trap called time and culture. So an anthropologist can't study culture unless he studies his own culture. And if he does, he's not going to become an anthropologist become a student of uh, life systems. Maybe, if you know what I mean. All single professions will disappear in the future. I have no question about it. You have to become so general. Maybe all-encompassing is a better word than general, because that sounds like it's less. I can't use that word, all-encompassing. More encompassing. Hmm? More encompassing. Emotions get in the way because they block you from looking at things in a more general viewpoint. But when you like the way you think, that's called arrested development. You said one time there's no emotional problems. What do you mean? What did you mean by that? Well, by that I meant. Uh, uh, there are relating problems, relating to different things. And you get hopped up about it, or you get angry, or you feel depressed. 
the only way you should feel depressed, there are real reasons feeling depressed. If uh, Hitler won the war and they put you both in solitary confinement, you would feel depressed. Because there's nothing you can do about it. If you were around 500 normal people, they can make you feel depressed. They can cut you out. But it depends how much you know about normal people, so that you don't let them do that to you. You know how far you can go, or you think you know how far you can go. You'll find out fast enough how far you can go. Just when people call up and they say, what is the Venus Project? You say, have you got two weeks? You know, you can't, this is what it is, oh, thank you very much. It's like answering questions. You can't answer questions. But you still have to have a couple of sentences yes. for those occasions. Yes, you do. You can't get around it. Yes, if you're really yeah. interested in knowing how people work and how they relate to one another and the environment, <coughs> get the book. Because you don't have, you got too many calls every day to go into detail. After you get the book, if you have problems, we can discuss it. Yes, a person, uh, what do you want? I want a car. No. They want to be a certain place at a given time. That could be done by television. You know what I mean? You can visit your Aunt Minnie on a screen full size. You don't want to drive to Aunt Minnie's. And you don't want to drive to work. You want the paycheck. Not every week when you want it. Right? Guy says, I want a job. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He wants some money to buy the things he needs. So then he needs things, not money. You ask the person, what do you want? A decent home. A $40,000 home? A $20,000? What do you mean by a decent home? But in this culture, people can't really oh. use that kind of logic. Oh. They, they have to think can't. within these... They're incapable. You're going to give them a whole new set of tools uh, and uh, there'll be people that won't be gunning for you too because you're taking their tools away or their controls. So when you say, uh, what does the Venus Project really think? That's an abstract question. Depends on the situation. Lock your frame of reference. Huh? Lock your frame of reference. Yeah. The person says, what if you build a Venus Project and the media hits it and destroys it? Then we're fucked. Or we start over again if we're still around. You know, it's just a lot of unnecessary aberrant responses. That's why I would things. never talk to a psychiatrist. Because they think they are on the right track, although there are some that know they know very little about human behavior. You know, there are people like that, that have studied the field of medicine and really feel that they don't have much control over health. And the person says, I want a healthy body. And I say, what do you want it for? If you're just healthy, so what? I'd rather have a healthy mind and a warped body. You know what I mean? But uh, what we talk about is associative systems that correlate, you know what that means? With changing conditions. You know, they ask you in school, what do you want to do with your life? What a stupid question. What can I do with my life? School doesn't offer you everything. You go. You usually say a healthy associative system with, correlates with the real world, but that was good. It correlates with changing conditions. Yes. More appropriate, huh? Yes. Which is the real world, I guess. Yeah. Right. But then you got to remember you're drifting away from the average person. Yeah. And you got to update your communication or try. If you don't work on the people around you, you will get lost. 
And they uh, might say, what are you, a perfectionist? You know, they have no other words. A perfectionist is a guy that died. That's it. You can't be a perfectionist. You can be particular about things. Just get away from the holistic word, like truth, the absolute truth. In order, re I said this before, in order to tell the truth, you'd have to know everything to know that which is true. Okay, you guys, I'm going to relax. Okay. That was good, Joe. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. So that wraps up this lecture on behavior. He's pretty busy for a guy his age who needs to be resting up after about six or seven months of traveling. He actually has been drawing a lot since he got back. He did this whole stack in about actually three times this much, but a lot of them he just rips them up, throws them away. The usual Venus Project tours, which are held on some Saturdays, will resume this month, so please check the website for the dates on those if you would like to attend. Since he got back from traveling, he's had a couple of groups. Uh, this particular group was out of Miami, and they have to do with uh, permaculture, and were interested in the Venus Project. He also had a small group of three or four people before them uh, that was from his original group in Miami when it was called Socio Cyberneering. So thanks for watching. Um, and keep an eye out for more lectures and other things that we'll be posting soon. Thanks.